Welcome back to our continuing coverage of Cybos Amsterdam here on Cybos TV. Now, ever since the 2008 financial crisis, banks have been struggling to return to their pre-crash profitability. The onset of the global pandemic, coupled with the expansion of big tech and fintechs in the market, have presented unprecedented challenges to traditional banks. It's being argued that a major push towards better performance will require banks to, a rapid, to rapidly adopt a new mindset, one that embraces the evolving global digital landscape and engaging with new partners to meet their clients' needs and expectations. Well, to look at how banks can better adapt and innovate, I'm delighted to say that I'm joined by Shankar Ramamurthy. Now, Shankar is the Global Managing Partner, Banking and Financial Markets at IBM. It's good to see you. Welcome to Cyboss. My pleasure. It's a delight to be here after a couple of years of not having Cyboss since 2019. It's great to be here. It certainly is. It's nothing like people-to-people -people contact. But look, IBM, it's well known as a hybrid cloud data and AI technology company but you're in charge of the bank consulting practice. So given that, what's the nature of the work that you do with your clients? And how do you see that banking business model evolving? Because the key to it is change and that new mindset that I referenced in the introduction. Indeed. So to step back, IBM consulting is about 40% of IBM overall. And what we do is we apply technology to help clients transform themselves. So everything that you can think of from business process transformation through to using exponential technologies to unlock economic value for our clients, that's what we do for banking and financial markets. So it's a meaningful part of what we do because banks are a substantial part of the client base of IBM overall. Uh, and as you mentioned in, in, at the outset, the industry is going through massive change. Um, the industry is not able to achieve um, the return on equity that it needs to in order to meet its cost of capital. And so the whole industry is going through dramatic restructuring, re-engineering, and transformation, taking advantage of what we call exponential technologies, the likes of hybrid cloud, machine learning, leveraging the data that financial institutions have to unlock economic value. Fundamentally, in IBM Consulting, we believe that the traditional banking model is being flipped on its head. So if the historical banking model had 70 to 80% of its people process technology focused on middle and back office, with maybe, say, 20% focused on customers and ecosystems and partners, tomorrow's banking model is going to turn that pyramid on its head. You're going to have 70 to 80% focus on partners and ecosystems and driving value to customers with extreme digitization, transformation, and automation shrinking the middle and back office. And technology is going to be a massive lever in that transformation journey. Okay, so there's no excuse really for getting behind the curve because it's happening now. You have to be with it or die effectively because it really is that Darwinian. But from your perspective, are there patterns of digital transformation that you see as unlocking the most value for banks and payment providers? Where is it? Much of the value comes from from the ecosystem partners and front office. So it's all about customer value and, and all about providing extreme digitization and flexibility and ease of use to customers, whether they be consumers or corporates and businesses. If you look at the competitors for um, financial institutions, a lot of them are coming from what I call the tech fins, the large technology providers who are backing into financial services through embedded finance. And the way a financial institution is going to counteract that threat is by taking the fight to the competition, right? By, by leveraging the ecosystem and extending the value chain to actually create value, not just wait for customers to come to a bank, but actually engage with customers much earlier on in their journey. You've actually answered some of the questions I wanted to ask you later on, but never mind. Do you want to do my job? <laughs> but but you know, the thing is, what, what is fascinating when you look at banks is that they've, they've invested significant resources over the years to build up their own payment capabilities. And some of them have had to do that because of the issue with legacy technology, all that sort of stuff. And some have got, got around it, perhaps, by, by joining up with fintechs. We've had allusions to that in earlier conversations. But for those who would actually prefer to focus on core priorities, where does IBM offer that solution? Because this is a challenge for many financial institutions. Where do you start in that journey, given that there is so much happening with the technology build? Great question. 
IBM actually handles something like 80% of the core bank processing and about 90% of payment transactions for financial institutions around the world. So we've been helping our clients on this journey over the last several decades. Now, the combination of um, competition, exponential technologies, and regulatory changes are forcing more and more investment uh, needs on financial institutions. And you, you talk about payments. Payments is an infrastructure across multiple rails that financial institutions have invested materially and substantially in over the last several decades. Regulations and competition is forcing them to make dramatic changes to that, right? Simplification, the world moves towards real-time payments and you've got to address not just real-time rails, but fraud, ensuring that you're able to address fraud. You know, investment in front office technology and capability in a mobile world. So as our clients focus on those things, we as IBM are able to provide them with two or three capabilities. One, we can take existing technology and capability and process off of their hands and maintain it, modernize it, you know, reduce the cost, um, you know, re-platform it, re-architect it so that they can focus on things that really matter and or help our clients with the actual transformation journey in terms of driving value as they move to a real time, low fraud world that's required in order to win in the payments. Space. So you're taking on a lot of that heavy lifting so that they can focus on, on what they do best effectively. Absolutely, absolutely. We, we are about making our clients' lives easier. And if that means taking their problems off of their hands, we bring the IBM Payment Center, which is a capability that we built initially in North America that we're taking around the world to actually pick up any pieces from a services standpoint that our clients need in order for them to accelerate the journey they are on. Shankar, sadly, time has gone against us, but it's been an absolutely fascinating conversation in terms of what you're doing. Thank you so much for being with us here at Cybos TV and enjoy Cybos 2022. I'm sure we'll touch base again next year as well. There's a big story to tell, isn't there? Thank you very much for the opportunity. Appreciate it. Thank you so much.